everyone. I'm Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of develop, developer advocacy with the uh, developer relations program here at Cisco. And I'm here with Joe Byrne, who's the VP of tech strategy with AppDynamics and Executive CTO. Correct, yes, yes. thank you. Yes. You're yeah. having me, Matt, appreciate it. Um, so the reason we have Joe here is that there was a big announcement around AppDynamics and mm -hmm. specifically AppDynamics Cloud or Cloud Correct. AppDynamics? Okay, AppDynamics Cloud. Cloud. Yeah, right. can you explain a little bit about that and, yeah. and what people can expect? Sure, sure. For those who are, may not be familiar with AppDynamics, AppDynamics is an application performance monitoring tool and we've been with Cisco now about five years. I've been with the organization for four and a half, but I was a user twice before. <laughs> uh, big fan, right? So uh, application performance monitoring, really helping understand what's happening inside the application because it's a critical part of you know, being able to determine things like root cause analysis mm -hmm. and making sure you're providing your customers with an optimized experience. So we have AppDynamics, which focuses on uh, on-prem hybrid applications, uh, you know, because that's where most of the customers are these days, is they've got some things local and, and on-prem or in their data center, they've got some things in the cloud as they're making their journeys. And the difference is, we needed to have a, we needed a way to support these applications that are born in and always live in the cloud those taking advantage of all of the different services provided by AWS, GCP, and, and Azure. And so we built a new product uh, that is focused on specifically cloud native applications. And, and as we come out, um, you know, you can't boil the ocean, right? You got to come out uh, with, with some focused functionality. We want to support things like AKS and EKS, so Kubernetes environments in Azure and AWS. Uh, and we're going to use open telemetry. Oh, okay. and, and be pulling in all of that data, the metrics, the events, the logs, and the traces, mm -hmm. to really give full stack visibility into what's happening with the application and help you with root cause analysis and eventually grow into a lot of the same feature functionality that we have in AppDynamics. Yeah, yeah. That's exciting that you guys are using open, open tele uh, telemetry because yeah. for developers, then that gives them almost a de facto standard with which to instrument their code against AppDynamics, and so that's exciting because then they can build out hybrid solutions that include AppDynamics as well. That's right, and you know it's um, it's open source, right? It's a, it's a project out there, so it's free to grab all of that data and pull it in, and and anything. You know, the whole idea is the more data we have, the more visibility that we can help our customers have then the more likely we are, we are to correlate root cause analysis and be more accurate in what we're showing in terms of problems like what's wrong, where exactly is it, yeah. what, what, how is it impacting the business, how do I fix it, those things. Yeah, and um, just because now a lot of the applications, a lot of the conversations that we're having uh, this week are around uh, Kubernetes managed uh, container services yep. and those applications can add a layer of complexity to our management services and being able to tie into what we've been calling full stack observability or just visibility into yeah. the application itself. Um, being able to have something that's a little bit more uh, driven towards cloud native and not trying to kind of bolt on what potentially was AppDynamics previously um, is, is probably super exciting for the developer community. Oh yeah, and it's, it's a promise we made as part of full stack observability as a matter of fact, because it's, um, we have hybrid application monitoring mm -hmm. as one of our seven use cases for full stack but cloud native monitoring is a part of that as well. Okay. So this meets that use case as we move forward with everything we're doing at Cisco around full stack observability. This was a key portion that, that we had to make sure we delivered. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, if people are, are looking to get involved with uh, AppDynamics Cloud, yes. uh, when can they maybe expect to get some hands-on experience or? So we're going through process now. We're, in, we're doing an early access program right now. Okay. So we have customers using it oh, or it's up and running. Um, Cisco, right? Is I might up and, have and to talk it? to you about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do that for my workshops. <laughs> there you go, yeah. So we've got people on it. We're looking at a release um, end of June. Okay. Uh, right now, and so, you know, we're getting close, uh, but it's actual code. We've got demos and things like that. As a matter of fact, people can go here at Cisco Live and go see it. Oh. Uh, we've got some demos up there back by the, um, the ETNI and full stack observability area. So yeah, end of June is what we're looking at right okay. now. Okay, and if people want more information or access to that early access program, is there a website that our people who are potentially at Cisco Live where they can, they can Absolutely. check that out? Absolutely, you can either go by our booth, the AppDynamics booth, okay. you can go over to the full stack observability area, uh, you can get on appdynamics.com okay. uh, and go through there, and, uh, or if you already have a local Cisco rep, reach out and have a chat, and okay. you know, the more the merrier, right? We want to we make sure we're, it's important really to get feedback and and get that input so that we know we're delivering on the customer's expectations and, and meeting their needs and 
providing the value that, that we hope we do. Yeah, it was uh, you know it's exciting. We had uh, the Panoptica uh, release. We yeah. had the uh, Callisti release. Now with this AppDynamics Cloud, it shows that Cisco is really committing towards not just operations in the cloud, but actually application uh, management and monitoring in the cloud too. It's really yeah, exciting. Yeah, it is. It's very exciting, and I think that I think it's really good. You know, I've done a couple of sessions on FSO here, and you know, everybody, no matter who you are, network operations, uh, infrastructure, uh, you're a part of that application being successful, right? right? I mean, without any one of these pieces, you don't have an application yeah. that works. You know, you have to have the network where the traffic can communicate, right, for the application, and you have to have application data going through the network for the network to have value. So, it, that's the thing, the important thing for everybody to understand is, that entire journey from the time I pick up my phone and open the app, all the way back through the data in the database, all of that, matters. All of it matters. And it's all part of full stack observability, and if you don't have that visibility, you might be missing that one piece that gives you the root cause, right? Yeah. So it, it, the application and its performance should matter to everybody because they're all part of that success. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. It's a message we've been talking about in DevNet and developer relations for years. Yeah. You know, have your operations people talking to your DevOps people, talking to your uh, application developers because all of that matters. All of uh, our delivery to our end customers is all dependent on all of those things working uh, correctly and properly. And our mean time to resolution is tied down to how much we can see yeah. in in the in the application level all the way down to the network itself. So Absolutely. I, I'm we bought uh, in. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really critical and an important part because a lot of our customers, while they're not all, you know, the majority are not developing cloud native apps, they're looking at it, they're on that journey and they're going there. And it's important that they know Cisco will be there with them yeah. when they get there to be able to provide that same kind of insight. Yeah, it's such an exciting thing because now we're we're saying to customers, we've got you on the network side, we've yeah. got you on the compute side. Yes. Now we're really trying to help you out on the application side as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. It's 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 where the focus needs to be. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to share with the, with the people out there before we, we let you go? I would just share that you know, if, if you're looking at full stack observability, if you're thinking about cloud native, uh, definitely, definitely give this a look. Uh, Cisco is doing a lot you know, in this area right now and trying to bring together that full stack observability uh, kind of vision and platform play versus just a bunch of disparate tools that you're trying to put together to make sense of, right? Right. We're truly providing that right now, and I think that as things progress and move, and a lot of the changes we've seen during the pandemic around the increased digitization, you know, everybody's shopping online, talking to their doctor online, everything, right? That's not going away. Nope. And so the importance of these applications is going to continue to be there. And the more you know, and the more you can benefit your customer and your organization by providing things like full stack observability and using AppD Cloud when, when you get to App Dynamics and then you're focusing on that application, it's a huge benefit. Yeah, gigantic benefit to yeah. not just your customers, but your organization as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, well, thank you, Jeff, for your time. We really appreciate having you here. Really excited about AppDynamics Cloud. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on it, and nice. maybe we'll get some workshops going for it. You got <laughs> at it. At the next Cisco Live. Let's do um, it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, go check that out at appdynamics.com. All right, thank you.